Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the Lasses of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we need to talk about the first round. The first round of negotiations will touch upon the prioritization of water for the communities, the issue of Beirut and nomads, the construction of oil pipelines, and the distribution of oil money. The fair solutions must be negotiated for the safety and prosperity of the Levant, but we must tread carefully for any missteps could lead to the conference ending prematurely. Can peace truly be stopped? Yes, yes. So right now we're currently doing water for fields as we saw yesterday. It has no description, but we'll get the water question. And I don't really know how much more content there is for um, us, the Governatorato del Levant, but we'll see what happens. We'll absolutely see what happens. Even though we do have quite a few focuses left, but we do have some comments. Let's see, someone says, hopefully we, we don't do as poorly as the British did. Well, hopefully we'll do okay. I, I hate to see it where we all pretty much split up and everything goes kaboom here. That wouldn't be very good for us, now would it? No, it wouldn't. Uh, 21 million, not very much. Uh, that's just because the military budget is quite high compared to everything else. So, Agun growing in power. The paramilitary group, organization Agun, has recently exploded membership and operations, with reports of increased activity across the Levant reaching her desk. Most of the government believe that it's for the best that we continue to work with Arafat, albeit with increased aid to help ensure that this threat is combated. Others believe that we should contact King Hussein and get his aid in fighting the threat. Another unspoken option is to work with Agun while breaking our relations with the Arabs. Oh, well, they're both powerful now. Um, we'll end the Jerusalem conference and silence Arafat in favor of Emir. Oh, I don't mind King Hussein. The king is, I kind of like the king. Trust in Arafat. This will end the, oh, the end of the conference and lead to negotiations with Agun. A deal with the devil. Um, let's go with the king then. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go as middle ground as I possibly can go until everything just collapses. So we'll see what happens. Um, let's talk to these guys. Yep. Cool. Moderately powerful. And then we'll do the Urgun next as well. Let's see. So someone recommends we balance out the Jews and the Arabs as best as we can. So that's my goal. That's really my goal right now. Just balance them out the best I possibly can. So we'll see what happens. And investments for the farmers. A fierce debate has erupted over the prioritization of water in the Levant. Uh, Levantine countryside, with the main subjects being Jewish kibbutzim, agricultural com communes, and air villages. The case for prioritizing water for the kibbutzim is obvious. Agriculture is generally water intensive. However, the Palestinian delegations lobbied for water to be prioritized for air villages so that they may practice their own form of agriculture. In the end, it is Italy's decision as to who gets the most water the Jews or the Arabs? Favors, favors Arabs but angers the Jews. Um. Well, we favor the Jews and put anger the Arabs. Does that make these guys more powerful then? Maybe? Fatah is currently, um, as you can see, negotiations favor them. Oh. Wait, what's going on? We get, oh, a goon growing up. Oh. So Fatah. Alright, well, led by, uh, you see, Arafat, so. And, and, ah, the Jews in Madagascar have one as well. Very cool. As well as transistor computing. Cool. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep this up, but we're done with all that stuff, so if that's the case. Uh, industry? Yeah, we probably could use some industry down here. At this point, you know what? Screw it. We have a lot of black shirts here. Um, how good are these guys? They're only 12 combos. I'm going to save some money. There you go. And Turkey won't be attacking us anytime soon, probably. Uh, how much money did that save? Eh, that's good enough for now. It's not much, but it'll be all right. <clears throat> cool. And then protection for nomads. The nomad question. Cool. Another comment was, let's see. Why was the Algerian tree removed? I'm not really sure. I think it's just, just like us here. Oh, there's, mm, I don't know. If, can we not, hold on. Can we not? Because we tried this yesterday, and actually this off screen as well. Are they, every time we do that, do they just get even more powerful? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know, but the reason for the... I'm not sure exactly why the Algerian tree was, me, was removed. I think it's just because the, the devs didn't like what they did with it, and they want to redo it and make sure that... I don't know, they can probably fix it later on, so... I don't know. It's probably just like the Levant, but the Levant, I think, has technically more content. Definitely for now, though, but... <clears throat> agricultural subsidies. Agricultural subsidies have historically been used to fund the general modernization of Levantine agriculture. Now, they're being fought over by both sides over who gets the lion's share of the money. Various arguments such as the relative lack of irrigation in Palestinian farms or the continued expansion of kibbutzim have been brought up. Once more, both, delega de both delegations look to Italy to decide this issue as a mediator of the conference. 
Who do we who do we piss off? I mean we're currently favoring Fatah, the Arabs, right? Uh well, hmm. Favor the Jews but anger the Arabs. Well, a good is extremely powerful. Um we Let's fund the Palestinians this time. Because we did the one, other one last time. They're only moderately powerful, but... We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I don't know. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Ah, uh, don't you love it when we build in Gaza? I really wonder if YouTube really, like, puts in little things. If they detect anyone saying the Gaza or West Bank or anything like Jews or J Jerusalem, are they... Mark your videos. I really wonder. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter to me. I've already said the words I'm going to say, so. Hmm. Harakayim is currently powerful as well. Also, I think it's true in the National Spirit. So we have Italy's finest, which is actually really cool. That's actually really strong. Without these National Spirits, we, we could have probably lost the war against, um... Turkey. I can't remember the word Turkey. Oppose extremes-isms. Emirates of Transjordan. I heard Jordan's a really cool place to be, but colonial government. So, but this one is really strong. That's one of the reasons why we were able to survive because we got the extra manpower. The nomad question: After we look at where the pipelines go, they who didn't nomad roam around the south, where small skirmishes have taken place between them and other settlers over various land disputes, as well as consum consum consumption of resources. The Palestinian delegations called for more legal protections for the Beyudins as well as incentives for the nomads to urbanize. The Jews, on the other hand, argue that status quo is fine as is, and that funds should be focused on better issues such as poverty and infrastructure overhauls. Once more, Italy must rule. Well, we did Arabs last time, so less protection. We don't use protection here. Um, oh, okay, so actually, that, that hurt them actually a little bit. Now they're powerful, but this guy's still down here too. And both these groups are still pitifully weak, which is fine with us. As long as they're fighting each other, not fighting us, that's the most important thing. Boost. Even though it costs us more money, it just... We want more PP. PP's nice. So, with a debt, 1.32... Oh, there goes Orochia. Oh, Orochia. Cool. Oh, 1.32. Has it gone up at all? Nope, now it's 1.3. Nice. And the next focus, which I'm a little disappointed uh, that there's no, like, description of here. But it's kind of fine with me, just because I knew there wasn't going to be much here. So, Iberian Council. Okay. I'll use this organization for a week's eight. And then we get this one for whom the black gold flows. Nice. And where the... Yeah, prosperity fall. Oh, wait. For whom the black gold fl flows. Where the black gold flows, unlike the rest of the Middle East. The Levant has little oil deposits, forcing it to rely on outside resources or sources for its needs, as such. An additional oil pipeline should be built in order to service their needs. The question is where exactly it should be built. The delegations have given their preferred options Gaza and Tel Aviv. The benefits of the pipeline being built in either city are obvious. It will provide numerous jobs to the local population during and after construction. Yet again, Italy has to tell. Wait, as much as I want to build pipelines in Tel Aviv, Gaza, it is. There you go. Not bad. 1.3, not too bad. Prosperity follows, pretty much. Cool. And after this one... Oh, we have arguing conference. Okay, let's try this again, because they're a little bit too strong. Oh, success! A recent attempt to provoke armed conflict between the forces of Ergun and Harakin appear to have been a, a resounding success. According to recent reports by the Karab Karabiniri, 50 Ergun terrorists traveling along a stretch of desert and each... In search of a supposedly new established village, the location and existence of which we have fabricated, found themselves ambushed in the early morning by an AM raiding party as planned. While the Ragoon fighters retaliated with their characteristic fury, the AM possessed better weapons, not to mention more time to plan. In the end, the Ragoon fighters barely escaped, leaving 20 of their own behind to rot in the desert sand. Ergun's activity throughout the Levant has dropped drastically as they slink back to their dens to lick their wounds, leaving the Harakin the stronger power for now. George Habash has not made a public statement on the matter, though although our spies in the AM and foremost, he is growing more confident about a victory by the day. Mission successful. So it does it does work sometimes. Even though I think it's scripted, but you know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I just got unlucky. Nice. 1.3. Keep cutting it down. We're doing quite well. And now 3.15, not very much, but it will be what it will be. And so we have despotism here, we love it. We have a little bit of fascism here. Just a, just a little bit. Lucas Jones. Um, a third democracy under Peter Walker, and then is that... It looks like almost like a third... 
conservative democracy there, but whatever. For whom the black gold flows. Now the issue of the pipeline has been resolved, the debate has moved on to the topic of oil revenues. The Palestinians argue that the oil money would be better used by them in order to install infrastructural improvements such as electric expansion as well as social housing. Meanwhile, the Israelis are pushing them to receive the oil money for use in upgrading hospitals as well as expansive schools in the region. Ultimately, well, the Arabs in Gaza, they can have a little pipeline, but the Jews get the money. Okay, that sounds a little weird. <laughs> uh, the right to safety. When the AM take over of the Levant, uh, several Jewish groups such as Lehi, Haganah, are going to merge into the Jewish resistance movement, the JRW. J R W J R M. Their purpose is to resist the AM whenever possible and in time overthrow them at the moment. We can only send our arms and funding to the JRM, but already shipments are being organized for the efforts. We can only hope that afar from the that the JRM's efforts will bear fruit in time. Let's hope we can get a hold of the situation. Oh, it forms. Okay. Uh, the forces in the Levant have been forced into a humiliating retreat. The a has successfully instigated a general uprising, turning much of the population against us and forcing us to withdraw. The presence of an anti-Italian state so close to the Suez is greatly destabilizing, not to mention the loss of the pipelines which connect the oil to the oil fields of Iraq and Kuwait. However, not all is lost. The Jews of Levant are also no friends of the Arabs and have unified under the banner of the Jewish resistance movement. The JRM has approached us asking for support overthrowing the a and in return. They promised the establishment of a pro-Italian state in the region. While the JRM represents an excellent opportunity to help restore some semblance of our old position in the Levant, many are weary of allying with the very people who caused so much trouble in the past. Um, I don't know, man. That's cool and all, but... Hmm. I don't think we can trust them, so... Yeah, I, I don't want to pick a side, man. I really don't... Oh, look at this. There goes Hitler. Bye, Hitler. Hope you have a nice afterlife. That sounds weird to say. Ah, <laughs> uh, not bad, though. Not bad. Ah, the Jews are doing so well! Trying for the Arab nationalist movement. Well, they may have fought hard, and without outside aid, the Jewish resistance, resistance ultimately could not stand up to the strength of the Arab nationalists. Their leaders died or dead or in hiding, and the fighters scattered and driven underground. It appears that the last threat to the a has been defeated. Already there are celebrations in the streets and the socialists consolidate their position. The region's Jews have already record, seen record levels of emigration, while those that remain brace themselves for another generation under what they consider foreign rule. The revolution is victorious. Oh, crap. I just want to do what's best for you. What the heck? Um, in today's world, no one is innocent, no, no one is neutral. Following Italy's retreat from the Levant and the rapid loss of central authority that followed, it appears that George Habash's Arab national movement has succeeded in fulfilling or fulling the void left by the Italians. Ruling over an increasingly unstable state, Habash continues to champion a one-state solution to the Levantine problem, stressing socialist values, secularism, and democracy in a land thus far defined by opportunism, sectarianism, and violence. The A&M has cut all ties to the Italian government, nationalizing colonial assets after a long-winded denunciation of Italy's neo-colonial ambitions and fascistic government. The A&M's rules are to secure both Jewish and conservative Arab paramilitaries remain in active revolt against the government in Jerusalem, and sectarian violence has been all but exacerbated with the introduction of new ideological currents to the region. Thus far, Habash's response has been ill-defined at best and non-existent at worst in fear of further splitting, or splintering his own base of supporters. It appears that increasingly authoritarian measures will need to be taken in order to turn the region to any semblance of stability, measures that Habash himself is willing to enforce as of yet. If violence continues to escalate, however, there is no telling as to what the a and regime will be forced to do to stabilize the region once and for all. Whenever that happens, this is certain. Italy has lost its vest last vestiges of influence over the Levant. God watches over his city now, offering no reply to the prayers of the people. Out of the frying pan? Oh, wow, look at that. Well, we lost. And now... George Habash has taken over, and they don't have a unique, unique focus tree. So I'm going to go back and see if we can actually get the Jews in power. Since, um, the, for this one right now, the Levantine People's Republic has won, and they're basically communists. And does he have a, Yes, he does have a little description if you'd like to read about him. Please go right ahead, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So we're back here, and basically from what we saw earlier in the episode, Urgun growing in power. And now, last time we trusted out of thought, and we want to continue the conference... We could do a deal with the devil just to get this over with. But you know what? Let's trust in Arafat. So if you want to read these again, please go right ahead. Let's just go ahead and get through this quickly. Just because I want to say we're going to be balanced as possible. But, okay, so last time we did balance and we, the Arabs won. So maybe this time we're going to go ahead and push the Jews to be more powerful for this part of the episode. Because it's going to be the last episode, as you can tell from the title. There's just not, not, not really much left. So. so we're doing, again... Basically where we started with the episode, Water for the Fields. Uh, I'm not going to read any of this unless it's really, really different. Which, it might be a little bit different. We'll see what happens. And let's do Protection for Nomads immediately. In which, cool. The Water Question, of course. Who do we help out? The Arabs or the Jews? 
But let's piss off the Arabs. For now. And someone's appointed Prime Minister of Thailand. Cool. There you go. And yeah, overall, not too bad. Um, I knew this was going to be a short campaign. I'd be very interested in seeing what the devs have in store for the Levant area here. As well as just like all of Italy's colonies. Really, all of Germany's and Italy's, you know, colonies and little uh, sub-states that they, they acquired after World War II. That's really my interest. Just because I would love to play as Algeria someday. And the Reg Regno de Agaito? Aget Something like that? Egypt? There you go. Cool. Basically Egypt. I'd love to play them sometime, so. The Arab Socialist Union. Farouk's Hedonism. We also have the Muslim Brotherhood, as well as the colonial government. As well as, like, the little Italian states over here near Kuwait and whatnot. Del Golfo. Oh, wait, do they actually... They have a unique focus tree as well? Oh, boy, we gotta play them sometime. So, no mad question. And let's go ahead and help the Jews as well this time, which is going to piss off a lot of people. I didn't realize that they had a unique focus tree over here. Del Golfo does. Maybe we should play them sometime. Let me know if I should play them sometime, guys. That actually sounds like a little bit of fun, because it's obviously not going to be a long... Probably not a long campaign, but that's going to be cool. New technical schools... That's cool. Huh. Araba Sindakati Lavoratori. Reinforce ENI control, the Council of Emirs. Gulf Independence. That's a long that's a much longer focus than we have. The Oil Empire. The United Emirates. The Gulf states become independent. Draft a constitution. That's actually really cool. And let's see. Uh, extremely powerful. The GRM force, we saw that last time as well. Massive success. Very cool, very cool. Let's hope we can hold on to the situation. The Arabs need to be taught a lesson. Alright, well, we'll do that one. We chose the other one last time. But agriculture subsidies. The Jews get everything here now. And what you will get... Uh, let's do that, this one first. Let's see what happens to this one. For whom the black gold flows first. Which doesn't make any sense to do first, but... Oh, Arafat was assassinated with this time. Yasir Arafat, leader of the so-called moderates of Fatah, has been in hiding ever since the socialists and the a have taken over the region. Fatah, while weakened, has retained a significant presence throughout the region, contesting with both the Jewish resistance and the a &M. However, a mouse can only hide for so long, and Arafat's location has finally been discovered thanks to a helpful tip from Italian friends. Already an elite detachment of the best fighters the JRM has to offer. It's converging on his position, he will not get away. It's time to put an end to this nuisance once and for all. Farewell, friend. Wow. Well, he's gone. Boost cut. Why not? 1.32. Oh, well. Yeah, that is a little wild. Victory for the Jewish resistance across the Holy Land. The fighters of Judea have risen. Aided by Italian supplies, we have successfully crushed the Arab radicals who would oppress our people like the Romans of old. Their leaders are dead, their fires are scattered. As we speak, the last holdouts are being hunted and destroyed. Standing over all was Yisrael Galilee. Galilee, the enigmatic leader of the JRM. While Galilee's plans for the future of the Levant remains unclear, it appears that it will be some time before the Arabs will acknowledge us as the rightful owners of the land. Already there is talk of Arab resistance even as the a is driven out. Peace, it seems, will remain a distant goal to the fighters of Judea. Judea. Judah. Hmm. Judah. Israel. Galilee. I'm, I was reading a gun magazine the other day. Galil is from Israel. So I'm pretty sure. Is this the guy who formed or created the Galil rifle? Which was, I think, fashioned after the rush, the Finnish AK, the Finnish version of the AK-47. I think. I don't remember the exact name of it, but... And let's see what happens. Uh, the Jews are doing okay. They're extremely powerful. Um, pitifully weak, pitifully weak. Yeah, and they still won. Oh, they're still winning down there. Sort of. Iberia, of course. And, God, I can't wait for the Rex Commissariats to get uh, more content. But, an Israeli state. We've done it. After months of struggle and conflict, we defeated the AM, and for the time being, crushed the last two obstacles to the formation of a Jewish state. As the flag of Zion rises above Jerusalem, the Jewish people have a home once more. However, discontent with the de facto military dictatorship run by Haganah and the Argun is already starting to appear, and the issue of the native Arab population, which outnumbers the Jews of the region by the sub substation margin, grows more pressing by the day. The future of Israel remains cloudy, cloudy and uncertain. A homeland, if you can keep it. A united front in Levant? Oh, uh, and here we end as well. Following a series of strained negotiations, compromises, and heated discussions, the Jewish resistance movement was officially formed as a coalition of all major and some minor Jewish political parties and organizations. Following Italy's retreat and the fracturing of Arab political forces, a united front of Jewish organizations was deemed necessary, to gain the legitimacy and organization needed to secure a Jewish state in the Levant. Already accused of being highly authoritarian and leading towards the fringes of the political scene, cool. The JRM nonetheless has proven itself to be capable of uniting the Jewish population against the threat of expulsion from the Levant, and managed to gain a strong position and the regional politics, all but dominating the Levant for the new state of Israel. Only time will tell how this coalition will manage to react to rising 
air of resistance and internal tension with both strident nationals and committed Democrats currently being forced into a working relationship within the JRM nonetheless. The achievements made by the Jews in the Levant remain impressive, even if the means resorted to have left many scars in the region, many of which are currently left bleeding. Alone, we can do so little. And now, instead of the commies, Kami Arabs, now we have some, as someone would say, like, you know, is it Nazi Jews or something? I, think, I don't know, I don't know they're Nazi Jews, but they're just very somewhat authoritarian Jewish people here. Actually, do they have a tag? I don't see if they have anything here. Tag ISR. And, a little laggy, that's okay. And now we're playing as... I always wanted a Jewish state to play as. But we'll find one eventually. We will get one eventually. It would be cool that Israel had like its own little like sub mod or just mod for Hoi 4, but nope, there's nothing here. And led by Israel Galili. Cool. But if you like about him, please go ahead. But there's not really much else that we can do here, my friends. If you enjoyed the little uh, you know campaign playing as the Italian Levantine group here, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Please recommend me more nations of play in TNO or other mods in general, and I will see you all in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.